What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna answer a question. Is the giant ground sloth still alive down in South America? There's this really cool myth down in South America of this animal, it's called the Mapinguari, and it actually hits a lot of the same notes of what a giant ground sloth would be. And I believe like Forrest Galante talked about this on Rogan's podcast a couple of times. So that kind of sparked me to go look into it. So I found an article about it today and I hope it has some good information. Before we get into that though, guys, please remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, as well as drop comments down below with what do you guys think? So real quick guys, I don't want to write these articles. I just use them to push long information. Today's article is coming from exemplor.com. Please go over there and show them some love. Mapinguari sightings. Is the giant ground sloth still alive? Are giant ground sloths still alive today? Paleontologists say giant ground sloths such as Megatherium died off thousands of years ago at the end of the last ice age. Many large prehistoric creatures disappeared from North and South America around the same time. But one story gives us hope that the giant ground sloth could still be alive today. The legend of the Mapinguari is not only one of the most terrifying monster tales in modern times, but may suggest that Megatherium may still roam the jungles of South America. Is the Mapinguari really a giant ground sloth? If so, how can this be? Here's a look at how some monsters may prove to be real and massive beasts of the past might just come back to life. The Mapinguari is a nasty and frightening prehistoric monster, one you surely do not want to tangle with should you meet in the dark corner of the forest. Its legend is cemented in South America lore dating back for generations. Even as cryptids go, the Mapinguari is a strange one, more terrifying than some soggy lake monster and much less congenial than a hairy man. The Mapinguari seems to be ripped straight from a science fiction horror story. Standing over nine feet tall with nasty claws, backward facing feet, and an extra mouth on its belly, this terrible beast would surely send you running for the hills if you didn't get a hold of you first. Though if accounts of locals are to be believed, you'll likely smell it coming and have ample chance to escape. The Mapinguari is said to give off a horrific scent. It's allegedly a carnivore and devoured herds of cattle, but never has there been any documented assaults on human. Mainstream scientists and researchers say this creepy cryptid probably isn't real, of course. It's thought to be a local legend and superstition, nothing more. But as legendary creatures go, the Mapinguari is surely one of the most bizarre. Some more creative versions of the animal claim it to have one eye in the center of its head and tough skin that deflects arrows. No such creature could actually exist. Or could it? Is the Mapinguari a giant ground sloth? Some researchers have an interesting theory about the Mapinguari. Some believe it may actually be a species of giant ground sloth once thought extinct, but now living in depths of forest. Like the Mapinguari, ground sloths were big, smelly, and ferocious. Though they did not prey on humans, they certainly had the tools necessary to frighten them and inflict serious damage should they cross paths. As a slow-moving animal, it needs such defenses to fend off predators like the giant short-faced bear. The giant ground sloth, still living in the form of the Mapinguari, might seem like a stretch, but a closer look shows that many of the characteristics certain species of ground sloth exhibited are present in the descriptions of the Mapinguari. Megatherium Megatherium was a genus of ground sloths that went extinct thousands of years ago. These massive animals walked on all fours, but when standing on their hind legs, they were over three meters tall. With tremendous claws on its hands and feet used for digging and grabbing vegetation, the claws and backward-facing feet of the Mapinguari are easily explained. Even the mouth and the stomach and horrible stench might not be so far-fetched. Sloths have a scent glands, so this stomach may simply be exactly that. Not to worry, though. Ground sloths were vegetarians. So if you are wandering around the jungles of Brazil, you probably have nothing to fear unless you're dressed like a plant. Could the extinct giant sloth and the Mapinguari be one and the same? A creature from the past returning to our world is not something all that bizarre and unprecedented. In fact, there is a name for species that go extinct or disappear from the fossil record and then reappear again, a Lazarus Texan. So the most famous Lazarus species is obviously the coelacanth, and I can already tell you it's going to bring that up again there's actually like a lot more that we've discovered like here in the recent decade i mean there's actually a whole show on animal planet dedicated to just this and he actually finds stuff so it just kind of goes to show you that things can go extinct and come back it's just you know a matter of whether they are still out there or not. the coelacanth is the best known example of a lazarus taxon this is a six foot fish that was believed to have gone extinct some 65 million years ago only to be rediscovered back in 1930s this gives us pause to wonder what else might be out there just awaiting rediscovery. Okay, so another real quick aside, like coelacanths are kind of not a fair one because like the species of coelacanth that's alive today is not the same species we're finding in fossils. Like they are different. They have evolved. It just hasn't had a need to change all that much. It's kind of like you find a fossil alligator. It still looks like an alligator. It just 
isn't the same alligators we have today. You know what I mean? Could a population of giant ground sloths have managed to survive deep in the jungles of South America, undiscovered by modern science? For thousands of years, it's hard to imagine, but jungles do not give up their secrets easily. Of course, in the world of cryptozoology, which presently is where the Mapinguari stands, there are plenty of examples of alleged prehistoric beasts said to still roam our world, from dinosaurs still alive in Africa to the superstar of the cryptozoology world, Bigfoot himself. Some cryptozoologists believe Bigfoot is the evolved remnants of a massive 10-foot ape species called Gigantopithecus. Yeah, that's that's not even fair to say either, because like everybody thinks Bigfoot is like some type of human. Gigantopithecus was a, a, like, actually probably looked more like an orangutan. Yeah, that one's kind of a far-fetched bit out there, too, but there are people who think that, that it could be just, like, a dwarfism version of Gigantopithecus. Cryptids like the Mapinguari, which seem to have roots in extinct animals, are perhaps the most interesting of all. Even the most devout unbeliever would have to admit that an extinct species could still live deep in the jungles of the world. With so much unexplored, Megatherium could still be out there. There is still always the possibility that the Mapinguari may be a new species altogether, separate from the giant sloth and of a category all its own. In the field of cryptozoology, this is the holy grail. The discovery of a new animal, especially this one this bizarre, would send researchers into the jungles of South America in droves and open doors in many fields. Though the idea that this cryptid is an ancient giant sloth still living is very intriguing, to date, researchers have not been able to track the creature down. Without a specimen, live or dead, it is hard for mainstream science to take the map and guari too seriously. Despite local sightings and stories, there is little hard evidence, and the forests of South America don't give up their secrets easily. What they mean by the Holy Grail there is, it's like, oh, okay, this is a cryptid species, but it actually is real. Like, this is not something that's just made up completely. Like, there is actually a real animal, and that would be amazing. And that's what, like, proves out all the cryptozoologists out there that this is a real thing. That being said, though, guys, I'd like to think the giant ground sloths do still live down in South America. But, like they said, there's no real evidence of it at the moment, but it could be, and if it is the map and glory, that would make life even better. So, all that being said, guys, please remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, follow me on all of my social medias, which will be coming up next, as well as drop comments down below. Do you guys think the giant ground sloth is still alive? I'd really like to know, and I will see you guys in the next video.